Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the Hirani Evacuation Escalation. This is all three levels, Silent Assassin, my name is Mr. Freeze, 2244. I am a little bit late for this video, but, you know, I just I just forgot. I didn't I didn't know this came into it. I didn't know this escalation came out. It wasn't a part of the February update. But anyway, um, what we have to do in the first level, we need to just go and push this guy into the elevator shaft in the Rangan Tower. So these are the items I um, recommend you bring along with your mission. Now, none of these items are 100% necessary, but they are going to make things a little bit more easier if you have these items available. So, go ahead and bring your Krugermeyer, or whatever pistol you want, it doesn't matter what pistol. And when you use a melee weapon, you don't have to completely use it, again, you can just go ahead and subdue. Uh, bring along your coin, and then we're going to start the main entrance, of course. And then we're going to run over towards the Rangan Tower. We're going to leap over this wall and head inside the building. As you go up the stairs, there's going to be a camera at the top above the door. We're just going to wait for that to uh, turn, and then we're going to use our instinct to bypass it. So this woman's going to walk away, and we're using our instinct now. You can see the lights on the floor. That's where the camera is actually looking. It doesn't really matter if you actually get spotted by the cameras, because we are going to take out the evidence anyway. So we're just going to crouch, run past this woman up the stairs. This is the floor where the target is going to be. So you just want to crouch, run around the section, and the target is going to be talking to another guard. I'm just going to go ahead and turn off this uh, fuse box right here. I'm going to wait patiently behind this car. Once he's finished with his conversation, he's going to um, get alerted to the fact that the fuse box off. He's going to go in to investigate, and that's when I'm going to go ahead and take him out. Be wary of uh, what direction he comes through to investigate the fuse box. Considering he's going around the front of the car, we're going to wait behind the car. And then slowly approach him and go ahead and take him out. Like I said, you don't have to use the melee items that I've recommended. But uh, it's it, you don't have to, but it's just... It aids you. It makes you do things a little bit more faster. But it's not... Like I said before, it's not, not necessary whatsoever. So we just got to go ahead and knock him out there. And what we're going to do is turn the fuse box back on. I'm going to drag his body into the elevator shaft and go ahead and dump him over the ledge. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and take out the evidence by just shooting the evidence behind you through the window. And then we're going to bypass the one as we come back down the stairs and go straight to the exit. Now you can just go past straight, straight past these two guards. I know they're both in forces. I know you're in a trespassing area, but they simply do not have enough time to detect you as long as you just run straight past. Now we're going to go to one of these um, taxi drivers. We're just going to give him one of our coins, and we're going to exit the mission, and then you get Silent Assassin for level 1. So for level 2 we're going to bring along the same items, like nothing's going to be changed or whatsoever. And uh, the only tr only change when it comes to the targets themselves, we have one additional target. And he's going to be on the top floor of the Rangan Tower. Well, you know, the second to top floor I should say. And he is uh, relatively easy to get to as well. So for the first part of the video we're actually going to do the same thing as we did in the previous level. And uh, just run across the square right here and leap over the wall on the opposite side. And get into the Rangan Tower. Again, keep in mind that this is a trespassing area, and if you get spotted, you will uh, fail the mission. That is another one of the uh, objectives that got added as well. Well, it's not already an objective, it's more of a complication. But again, as we come up these stairs here, we're going to crouch and keep out of her line of sight. And wait for the camera to turn around. But of course, we're going to take out the cameras a little bit later on anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much if you get spotted here by the cameras. Mind you, I'm not sure if the cameras nullify the... I don't know. I've never been spotted by the cameras during this escalation, so I'm not completely sure if it fails you. Anyway, that's going to go around a, a runny side here to where the target is going to be. Like I said previously, we're going to go ahead and turn off this fuse box. And once this um, guy's finished with his conversation, 
he's going to get distracted by the fuse box and once he does that we're going to take him out turn the fuse box back on drag his body and then dump him down the elevator shaft Next we're going to go ahead and climb up the elevator shaft. Now you need to keep in mind here, you see the guy that was at the top there, using an enforcer. He does, he's the, he's the guy there in the middle, just standing still. Now he will come to where this doorway is, I'll talk to our top right. And he can spot you as if you're not fast enough. Now you can wait patiently at the bottom and wait for him to turn back around because his routine is to stand there and then come to this door and then go back. And uh, you, what you could do is just wait for him to go back to that doorway so you can give you a safe passage to climb up. Or you can do, as long as you're fast, you can get up to the top here and then go ahead and subdue him from around the corner. As long as you subdue him from around the corner, you won't have any problems getting spotted. We're just going to stick on his disguise there because it makes it a little bit easier to evacuate after. Now from this position here, we're going to need to turn off the generator, but we're only going to do this when the target is closest to us. Once he is close, that's when we're going to go ahead and turn it off. And that is going to cause the distraction for him to come over here and investigate the generator. And that is when we're going to go ahead and take him out, then dump him down the elevator shaft. So we just skipped to the point here where he's actually going to engage in a conversation with the guy sitting on the sofa, watching TV. And that's when we're going to go ahead and turn off this generator. He's going to come over now. So what we're going to do is just basically push ourselves against this uh, pile of bricks. And then we're going to spam that subdue button so we can subdue from around the corner. Lock him out. And then drag his body all the way back to the elevator shaft. And then dump his body down. And it's pretty much as simple as that. All we're going to do from there is just exit. And then we're good to finish the mission when we get a silent assassin right And then we can move on to level 3, which will include another target. Now it says investigating distraction. What that actually means there is that because we didn't turn the generator back on, that is the reason why um, it says that, but you don't need to worry about anything. Nothing will get discovered or anything like that, so you don't need to worry too much. So we're going to slide back down the elevator shaft now, right back to where the floor is, um, where the evidence is. And we're going to go ahead and shoot that. You can actually shoot that at the start of the mission if you want to. It's entirely up to you, but uh, we decided to do it late because I completely forgot. So uh, once you've done that, you can run straight to the exit now, and you'll get your silent assassin for this mission. And because you've got this disguise on, you don't have to worry about any enforcers or anything like that. It's very easy. I'm going to use the same exit as we did before. Just use the coin on the, the taxi driver. And uh, we're good to exit. As long as you've got your coin on you, of course. Oh, no, I bumped into it. My mistake. So that removes the exit point. So we're just going to go over here and use this exit point. It doesn't really matter what exit point you use. So once you've exited here, you'll get your silent assassin rating for level 2. So for level 3 we have an additional target and additional complication. So that's three targets we need to take care of, or dump them all in the elevator shaft. And the complication is if you change your disguise from the starting one, then you will fail. Obviously you can't get spotted either, that will cause a fail as well. So, for the first part of the walkthrough, um, it doesn't differentiate in any way, except for we don't put any on any disguise whatsoever. But you don't need to anyway, uh, it's relatively straightforward as long as you follow exactly what I'm doing. So again from the start we're just going to run across the square and leap over the wall and you should, and if because you've done this on the first level, two levels you should have known this by now now we're going to go got a set of stairs top of the stairs we've got the camera again we're going to move past the camera once it's moved away head away up the stairs 
take out the evidence and then take out our target by turning off the fuse box. Relatively straightforward at the start here. Considering we've done it twice already, it uh, should be quite easy at this point. So we're just going to go ahead and shoot the evidence here while we're here. Again, you shouldn't worry about getting spotted or anything like that. We go ahead and turn off the fuse box now. For some reason, on level 3, when he comes over to investigate the fuse box, he goes around the other side of the car. Now, I don't know if it's a level 3 specific change, but every single time I've tried this in practice, he's always gone around the back side of the car rather than the front, like he has in the previous two levels. I don't know why, um, it's just one of them things, I suppose. Maybe they changed it for level 3, I don't know. But um, it just seems kind of confusing to me why they would change that. So just be wary of that, what direction he goes to investigate this fuse box. So he's going the other way, so we're going to have to just hide behind the front of the car. So just keep your wits about you when you're when he gets um, suspicious of that fuse box. We're going to go ahead and turn it back on as well, just in case. We don't want to distract anyone else. And we're just going to drag his body all the way to the elevator shaft. Again, dump his body in the elevator shaft, and that will take care of the first target. Now the second target is going to have the same rule as before, it's like when we climb up this pipe here on the right, um, you could, like I said, you could wait at the bottom and wait for that guard to go back through his routine, or you can uh, risk it and just go quicker, go quickly up to the top here, you should have enough time as long as you've kept up the pace and you should be able to get behind the wall, if not, he will be walking towards you right now and you'll get spotted, but like I said, you can either choose to be, go for the risk, risk it for the biscuit, or just uh, wait at the bottom until he goes back to his uh, point where he is at the moment. But we made it just with a couple of seconds spare. So we can go ahead and subdue him from around the corner. And then grab his little uh, key card that he dropped on the, on the floor. Just don't put on his disguise because that will fail you the escalation. Now this again, the second target, we're just going to have to wait for him to get into the right position. He is going to be wandering around this floor for a while. And he will eventually go and talk to that guy on the sofa who's watching uh, sport. I don't know what he's for, watching, cricket maybe. I don't know. Cricket or football, something like one of those. And um, once he does engage in the conversation, we're going to go ahead and turn off this generator. And that's going to cause the distraction for our second target. Again, we're just skipping forward to uh, save time here. I'm going to go and turn off that generator. Like I said, he's going to come over and investigate the generator. And then we're going to make sure we have our body pressed against these bricks right here. Spam the subdue button and we should pull him around the corner. Subdue him from around the corner just like that. And then drag his body all the way to the elevator shaft and then bump his body for the second target. Now I'm pretty sure in the main mission, the guards' positions are a little bit different. And uh, in the, I think I'm pretty sure in the main mission, if you do the same thing we just did there, I'm pretty sure you get spotted. I think they've changed some of the guards' positioning for this escalation in particular. But once we've taken out the second target, we're going to go ahead and do what we... Uh, actually, we didn't do this for the previous level, did we? No. But uh, he's actually going to be two floors down. That's where he's going to be, the third target. Now, my original plan was to just to open this keycard door and then uh, distract the guard into this corridor area. However, I think what it would be a better option is just to climb out the window. If you climb out this window here and go around the side, he's going to engage in a conversation with the target himself. And then the uh, the artist is going to go over to the left, and then the guard's going to sit back down. This is where we can bring the fish into play. Or whatever non-lethal melee you're, you can choose. I think you can even grab that fire extinguisher there, just before we light out the window, if you need a melee weapon. We're going to go ahead and knock them both out, put the guard into the closet in the top left corner there, and then we're going to drag the the artist through the door and then dump him down the elevator shaft and then exit the mission and that will take care of our third and final target and the silent assassin for level three so it's just as simple as that really that's my plan and that's what we're going to go ahead and do so we're going to use our fish that i said to bring for the very first time we're actually going to gra drag this guard into the closet first i'm not sure if you can leave him there but I thought it was always better to be safe than sorry, leaving bodies just hanging out like that. 
Because I know Rangan comes in here from time to time, and you don't really want any of these bodies being discovered. So it's best to just hide his body there. There's no time limit or anything like that, so it's not really uh, a big deal. But for this guy, we're just going to go ahead and dump him down the elevator shaft, and that will take care of our third and final target. Just keep in mind, when you're actually going back down the elevator shaft, just watch out for any uh, enforcers and that that could possibly see you on the way down. And keep in mind of where all these, uh, these positionings of these NPCs are at the bottom. They are both enforcers, so just watch out for them too, and make sure they're both facing away before you come passing through this door. Again, these two guards, you don't have to worry about them, even though they are enforcers. As long as you run fast them, uh, run fast past them, uh, you won't get spotted or anything like that. Again, we're going to take the attacks the exit, and that will get us a silent assassin rating for level three of this escalation. So overall, this escalation, um, I suppose it was a kind of a creative idea to, to take out all three targets with the the elevator shaft. I get that, but uh, to me, it seemed a little bit repetitive. I'm not a fan of this escalation. I'm a big fan of the map though, and I hope for there's going to be more escalations and elusive targets coming on this map because I really love the suit that we've been using, and I really can't wait to unlock the suit with the gloves, and it's going to be awesome to use that on other maps. But that's how you get a silent assassin for all three levels of the Hirani evacuation escalation. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully this has helped you out. And that is pretty much going to do it for this video. So there's all the challenges, uh, um, XP and all that kind of stuff done there. And that's pretty much going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel for more videos just like this. If you've missed any escalations so far or any other challenge videos, there's the, check out my channel. All the playlists are there. Uh, consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And you get a little logo next to your name in the chat and in the comments. Again, thank you very much for all the support recently. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.